What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Marketing for Coaches show. Uh, it's your usual two dum-dums, Michael and Kevin. Um, and today we're here to talk about maybe not your secret garden, because that's a little bit, you know, we don't want to we don't want to presume anything about that. But a secret garden in particular of social media. There is there are a lot of ways to be on social media, as you well know, at this point. And there's also as a business owner, as someone who is essentially trying to grow their profile, their authority, their business, their everything out in the world, you know the necessity of social media, at least in general. But you might not know the elements that are critical to success on social media, to actually have your social media not just represent you, but actually work for you and serve you in the ways you want it to serve you, which is get likes get followers get clients it's not just about like making noise out there it's about posting into 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 nothingness it's about actually getting people to come to you find you like you start a conversation start a relationship do some business together that's that's the gold and there's one might, key to it oh you want to go ahead and you might right say it's about, you might say that it's about winning friends and influencing people you, you you could say that, but we don't want to get... I, could you do a copyright flag on that if we actually say the title of a book? Just I reference so. it. It's just reference. It's fair <laughs> use. It's fair use. <laughs> but, and there are a lot of keys, a lot of pillars, I think, to success on social media. But there's one in particular that it's a drum that we like to beat as often as possible with our clients because it's kind of sneakily one of the hardest things to pull off and usually one of the things you most need help with. And that is a certain C word that I'm going to let you talk about here now. Now choose your, choose your C word wisely. Wow. That escalated quickly. Um, I wrote a, uh, I wrote a parable about this last yeah. week uh, called the parable of the gardener and the magic garden. C is for consistency in social media for coaches, consultants, and thought leaders. Um, consistency is the big word and it's, and it's, and it's difficult uh, it's not as as easy as the the gurus, and I spell that G O O R O O S. <laughs> not as easy as they. Well, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about, right? Like guys, um, will be posting about how important content. Content is king, right? We've all we've heard we've heard that one a million times before. Um, I don't disagree with that necessarily, um, and at the same time, it's just it's not that easy. Um, but consistency, consistency is the key. Um, and it's, it's not, uh, it's not just about, we were talking about this this morning. It's not just about quantity. It's also about quality. Um, but if you, if your quality, uh, is, is one post a month, you're not, you're not going to go very far, very fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is true this is true <laughs> um so anyway so the the parable of the gardener in the magic garden um if you're interested in actually reading it um i would invite you to go check out my linkedin profile it's uh it's pinned at the top there um mm -hmm. but the short version is you know you plant the seeds you nurture the sprouts uh the the they then they then fruit and blossom and you harvest the bounty right so the the plants of course are are the customers and the the tending to the customers is consistent content right consistent content through helping people uh consistent content through answering questions for your ideal client for your prospects things like that um it's not super complicated um it's just you know like like a lot of things i think it's it's not complex necessarily in concept it is complex in execution or mm. rather it can, be. It can mm. be complex in execution does that make sense totally um, that's actually a really good distinction to make too because yeah it's, it's yeah. a very simple concept to understand but yeah when it comes to execution all the and, and anybody who's tried it will know all of a sudden little little issues little concerns little little hiccups or whatever it might be all of the above begin to occur to you that maybe it wouldn't have occurred to you when you were just thinking about it because it seems so simple and it mm. both is and it isn't i think i think it's an excellent an excellent distinction to make because it's really the kind of thing that before you do it before you know it instead of doing like one or two things you're doing 20 or 30 things to get the same job done and that's mm -hmm. where i mean I, and you know, you're building teams your your coaches your leaders you know about the things that come up the weeds 
if you will, <laughs> that can come up when you're engaged in such gardening. And it's just so important to have, you know, somebody who knows how to how to tend, tend to the kind of plants, the kind of clients you want to find, you want to grow. It's it's not to pat my own self on the back too much, but it's kind of a strong metaphor. There's there's a lot of parallels that can be drawn um, between gardening and something like this, because it really is, you know, planting seeds, planting ideas, nurturing, you know, letting giving the fruit time to ripen and then mm -hmm. harvest at the, at the right time. Um, it's uh, yeah. Anyways, I, I, th I think, it, like I said, it's pretty simple in concept. So I don't think we need to, to beat the dead horse, so to speak. Um, but <laughs> there you have it. The, the, the gardener and his his magical garden. I love it. I lo and it, it vibes with a lot of things that I think and a lot of things that we talk about, too, both internally and externally about just actually something I do think about quite a bit. And it's it's it shows up in various quotes, but it's about professionalism and mm -hmm. professionalism essentially being the difference between someone who's just good at something and someone who's good at something and shows up every single day to do it. Mm -hmm. They show up every day, no matter how it's not about how they're feeling that day or anything that might have happened. They're always showing up. They're always coming to do the work. And that kind of consistency will always beat out just about any other attribute, talent, mm -hmm. resources, anything like that. Consistency is so critical and it's both easy <laughs> and challenging. It's once you commit to it and once you build the habits and you build the team and you have a vision and you execute on that vision, it has this momentum that carries you forward that just with a little bit of tending with a, a little, a little bit of gardening from your friendly neighborhood boxers. <laughs> <laughs> things will continue to grow well into the future. So yeah, I just wanted that, that, that what you were talking about in this parable here reminded me of that. So I just wanted to tack that onto the end. Yeah, I dig it. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for writing. Thank you for not patting yourself on the back too loudly. The mics didn't pick it up. So that's great. <laughs> and thank you for watching and listening. However, you're consuming this, you know, the drill, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon, drop something in the comments. If you, if you're, if you're picking up what we're putting down, if you have any questions for us, as you well know, we love to talk about this stuff, not just in concept, but in how it applies specifically <laughs> to you. That's where that's where the real rubber meets the road stuff happens, where the real the real juice is that we really love to love to squeeze. So enough food metaphors, gardening metaphors, fruit, vegetable metaphors for now. Okay. This is Michael and Kevin signing off. <laughs>